Laid back Mickey here, and today we are going to talk about the 15 best selling trike accessories of all time. And if you want to pick up any of these accessories, just go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Coming in at number 15 is one of my favorite accessories. It is the Air Horn by Airzound. Now the Airzound Air Horn is a 110 dB horn. All you have to do is just push a button when it's on your trike, and then this loud sound goes out, beep, and it is great for deterring like dogs that are running after you, people that are in front of you that aren't listening to your bell, it's great for cars that are backing up and they don't see you and you wanna give a super duper loud sound and that's where the air horn comes in place. And also the cool thing is it is rechargeable, which means all you have to do is once all the air is out of it, just pump it up with your pump and you'll get about 50 bursts of noise, loud noise. Okay, number 14 is the TerraTrike headrest. And there's no surprise that it comes in as one of the top selling accessories out there because the cool thing about a headrest is when you're riding, it's nice to rest your head once in a while. And the more you lean back, the more you're gonna want a headrest. So on trikes that you set more upright, maybe you don't need one, or maybe you don't use it that often. But when you're going up a hill on maybe a, a trike seat that is leaned back, you're gonna want something to support your head. And remember, each brand has their own headrest. So make sure you get a headrest for your trike. Coming in at number 13 is the Terra Trike Seat Wedge. Now I talked about how when you lean your seat back, you want a headrest, but when you lean forward, you're gonna want some sort of seat wedge because when the seat leans forward, it wants to kind of push you out of the seat. So you need something to kind of support your butt to kind of lift it up a little bit because the Terra Trike, and this is why it's one of the most popular selling trikes, is the most adjustable seat on the market. It can move almost eight to 10 inches upright. So you can lean back really far or you can lean up really far. But when you lean up, you're gonna want to get a seat wedge for it. Okay, and at number 12, it's the Cat Trike Mirror Mount. It seems like a simple thing. Now Cat Trike goes ahead and they give you a left side mirror and a left side mount. Now, that's great when you're looking behind you to see the cars that are coming on the left. But back in the 70s, they started to put two mirrors on cars, right? So that you could see on both sides, right? And the same thing goes with the trike. When you're sitting in a seat of a trike, you wanna be able to look left and you wanna be able to look right. That's great that Cat Trike gives you a left one, but you're gonna to wanna to get a right one as well. Coming in at 11 is the Cat Trike headrest. Now the neat thing about Cat Trike is on the 559, on the Trail, on the Villager, those are all adjustable seats, even on the Cat Trike Dumont. And so if you lean it back, you're gonna to wanna to get a headrest. I pretty much recommend 99% of the time, get a headrest for your Cat Trike because when you're going up that steep hill, it's nice to rest your head. Also, just maybe if you lean it back all the time, maybe it's just another support. And this has a nice squishy headrest. So I really like this one. It goes right in the nape of your neck and it's really comfortable. And we're on to number 10. Number 10 is lube. Remember the ABCs of maintaining your trike? Air, brakes, and chain. You wanna make sure you have air in your tires. You wanna make sure your brakes are always working. And you wanna make sure you lube your chain because it is moving all the time. So make sure that you get some lube appropriate for your climate. In a dry area, you may want a waxy lube, but in a wet area, you may want some more wet lube that will actually stay in your chain a lot better. And speaking about putting it on your chain, I like this applicator by Finish Line, which you just put your lube in the applicator and it doesn't drip it all over a place. It has a nice little foam little cushion here that goes ahead and puts on the lube equally and your lube lasts longer. So I would get these together if you can. And for number nine is flags. Flags is a great way to stay safe while you're on the road. They wave in the wind and it's a great way for people to see you. Hey, I'm right here. Don't run me over, right? Stay out of my way. And coming in at number eight is a rack to hold your bags, panniers, maybe you're gonna strap something on it, 
but it just goes right over your rear wheel and it bolts onto your frame. And so all trike manufacturers make it so that a rack can bolt on your frame. So a rack is a great way to carry different bags and panniers. 75% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. And if you wanna see more recumbent trike videos and support this channel, subscribe below. Coming in at number seven is what I always use every single time I ride is a bell. A bell is a great way to say, hey, I'm here and I wanna pass you. So if you are riding behind a slower rider or maybe there's somebody walking and you wanna give a, a little bell sound, a bell is great. I recommend the Incredibell XL. It's my favorite bell. It's loud, it's easy to hear, and it's adjustable so it could fit on pretty much any trike out there. And coming in at number six is tubes. So a tube is something you don't wanna usually use. You don't wanna get a flat, but if you get a flat, you definitely want a tube. Make sure you also get some tire levers so that you can take it off easily and then put it back on. And I'd probably also get a pump too. Coming in at number five is the Topeak MTX trunk bag. And the cool thing about the trunk bag is on this model here, it has fold down panniers. So this, if you got the rack, which most people will get a rack, you want to put some sort of bag on it that carries all your stuff. Maybe your jacket, you're going to want to put your tools in here. Maybe you carry your lock, maybe you carry your lunch. You could carry all the stuff that you would normally want to take with you and put it in the trunk bag. Maybe you want to put your phone in there or get a phone holder, but go ahead and get a trunk bag to put on your rack. Okay, coming in at number four, it's a simple accessory, but yet is needed on pretty much every track that you're gonna put any type of accessory. It's the Topeak Bar X. This is to mount your, maybe your front light, maybe to mount your phone holder on. It can mount pretty much anything, but it is such a handy little accessory for your trike. Coming in at number three, to help with safety and security and just less hassle while you're riding is the Marathon or Marathon Plus tires by Schwalbe. They have a thorn resistance built into it so that you don't get flats. So if your tire doesn't come already with uh, Marathon tires or any flat resistance, you want to get something that will go ahead and make it so that thorns don't poke through. Now here in California, we have these things called goat heads. And when it gets dry in the summer, they poke through the tires easily. They are like nails. A nice thorn resistant tire is going to help not get flats because a lot of people don't want to change flats on the road. One time when I didn't have any thorn resistant tires, I changed three flats in one day and that was a real pain. We we're on a group ride. And so uh, I went back and I said, yes, those tires may have been fast that I, were, I was riding, but I'll go for something with more thorn resistance and I'll be faster because I won't be changing a tire. And number two, which is super duper important, it is lights. You're gonna want a tail light and a tail light, the new tail lights have like 300 lumens or more, which I remember when they were like 25 lumen, so this is huge. And it can be seen in the daytime up to a mile away. And they just go brightly blinking red so that somebody coming up from behind you day or night can see you. And also a front light's important so that maybe it's you, you're out there and it's not as light outside or maybe a little foggy get a light so that you could be seen easily. These are USB chargeable, which is the only way to go nowadays. I don't know who's using regular batteries. And you just plug it into your computer or into a USB wall outlet and they just charge up within a few hours and you could use them for weeks or months with one charge. All right, and the number one selling trike accessory out there is super simple. It's a mirror. Most trikes don't come with mirrors or maybe they only come with one mirror on the left side, but you want two mirrors. You want a left and right mirror. It's on a bicycle, when we turn, we can look around because there, we're, uh, we're not on a big seat, but on a trike, when we're on a, on a seat, we're not gonna be turning all the way around. So we want to see left and right, and a mirror is the way to do it. My favorite mirror is the mirror cycle mirror. 
It is just uh, the easiest to use. It's the most versatile and it's the number one selling mirror. And if you wanna pick up any of these accessories, just go ahead and check out the link in the description below.